Grand Rapids police are addressing how they used force against a group of protesters this weekend. Justice for Black Lives says they were protesting peacefully at the Monroe Center on Saturday evening when officers became violent. 13 on your sides, Carla Byron joins us from the newsroom with the police response. Carla? Well, police say they took action against a group of protesters who were violating city ordinances. Hey! Hey! Justice for Black Lives posted this video to their Facebook page. It shows a scuffle between protesters and Grand Rapids police at the Monroe Center Saturday. Why are you punching her? The group claims they were wrapping up a peaceful protest for Isaiah Butts, a man GRPD arrested weeks ago, when they were met with, quote, senseless violence from GRPD. The group says protesters were thrown to the ground, punched, and hit with bikes. You don't need to punch him! GRPD released a statement Monday saying in part, it's important to note any characterization of this event as an attack by GRPD on peaceful protesters is erroneous. The department claims the group did not have a permit and for more than three hours regularly used a bullhorn, which was in violation of the city noise ordinance. Police say an officer warned them twice, issued a citation to the bullhorn user, and when the woman continued to use the bullhorn, the officer tried to take her into custody. Police say several members of the group then blocked the officers from making the arrest. Two people were arrested and charged with resisting and obstructing a police officer. Justice for Black Lives claims at least five protesters were hurt. However, police say no one, including their officers, were hurt. And GRPD is investigating the incident for possible further charges. Supervisors, the training unit and internal affairs will review the use of force. To read the department's full statement, go to our website, WZZM13.com. Carla Byron, 13 on your side.